Transfer functions are a popular way to represent linear, time-invariant systems. In this video, we will show how to create and analyze transfer functions and use them to design a controller for a given system. Let's start by looking at an example of how we can define transfer functions in MATLAB. Here, we have two separate transfer functions that define our system. The first describes our actuator dynamics and the second our engine dynamics. These two transfer functions are connected in series. There are two ways of defining transfer functions in MATLAB. The first is using the TF function. Define the actuator's transfer function as shown, with the TF function accepting the numerator and denominator of the actuator's transfer function as its inputs. You can also define a transfer function directly in terms of S. Here, we define the engine's transfer function using this method. In both cases, we see that the result is a transfer function object. You can define the system by multiplying the two transfer functions as they are connected in series. Alternatively, you can use the series function as well. Now let's design a controller for our system. In this case, the controller is a pure integrator, which eliminates steady state error. The gain k of this integrator is what we need to define according to the characteristics we would like our system to have. Let's start by assuming that k is equal to 1. The transfer function for the controller in that case can be defined as follows. The overall transfer function of the system is now given by tf open loop, which represents the open loop transfer function. Use the feedback function to add a negative feedback loop which tries to reduce the error, that is, the difference between the input and output signals. Now that our system has a feedback loop, let's see what the step response looks like. Our system is clearly stable, but the step response is slow. We can make the response faster by modifying the gain k of the controller. This can be done by analyzing the root locus of the open loop transfer function. Create the root locus using the R locus function. The lines indicate the location of the poles of the closed loop transfer function for different values of the gain k. We want to adjust k such that our system has a fast response with minimal overshoot. In this case, Let's assume that for a gain k approximately equal to 5, our system's performance meets our requirements. Using the new gain value, we can now update our controller's transfer function and the closed loop transfer function of the entire system as shown. Now let's analyze the performance of our system with its new controller using the Linear System Analyzer app. The first thing we see is that the step response is faster than before and also has very little overshoot. The app also allows us to examine many of the frequency and time domain characteristics in a single figure. We can visualize key characteristics such as the peak overshoot and stability margins as shown. In summary, this video showed how to create transfer functions, analyze them in the time and frequency domains, and use them for designing controllers. This concludes the video.